Today we're going to see if the force from a deploying airbag can lift a vehicle. Now most modern vehicles come with dual front airbags to protect the vehicle's occupants from hitting the dashboard during a collision. Now the driver's side airbag mounted to the steering wheel is meant to deploy straight out like this. However the passenger side airbag is mounted flat on the dashboard so it will deploy in a sideways direction. Now airbags deploy with a lot of force and that's because they have to react really quickly during a collision. Now I'm going to be placing the airbag under the pinch well behind the front wheel here because it's one of the strongest points of the car and we're going to see if this wheel can actually lift up. This here is the driver's side airbag and this round thing is actually the inflator. This is the connection here that comes from the clock spring. So I'm going to strip the wires and connect it to this long extension wire. Now I'm going to plug in the airbag and then position the airbag underneath the vehicle like this. We're going to see if there's enough force to move this toothbrush from the front wheel. And now the other end of my long extension cable is going to go to this battery when I want to detonate it. Three, two, one. All right, here's the smoking hot airbag. I'm gonna carefully remove it, it's still steaming. Honestly, I'm a bit disappointed, it didn't even move the toothbrush, so I'm gonna put the second airbag up a little bit higher so that it actually contacts the body. All right, here I have the passenger side airbag. This should be a lot bigger, so I'm going to make my connections here and then install that underneath the car. All right, we got this airbag sitting a lot closer to the body of the car. Three, two, one. Well, the toothbrush is pitched from there to there. All right, well, I'm gonna pull out this airbag here. Probably is really hot. You can see this is a much bigger airbag. What's interesting here is the force of the explosion actually caused this housing to balloon a little bit. And look at that, I actually ripped the airbag and the brick is inside the airbag. Wow. So having a look underneath here, you can see that the airbag actually punched a giant dent in the floor pan and it ripped this weld over here. That's quite a lot of force. Well, and there you go. Now we know that the force of an airbag is not enough to lift a vehicle, and that's simply because that the airbag expands out sideways instead of pushing up despite having so much force. And that's actually quite disappointing because I've swapped out the heavier 1ZZ engine for the much lighter and leaner 2JZ engine, and we still didn't get a flying Corolla.